Mary Alice, the House has approved a nearly $1.4 trillion spending plan that cuts some health-related taxes. It repeals taxes on health insurance and medical devices. The spending plan also provides a pay increase for federal civilian workers and bans the sale of tobacco products to anyone younger than 21. And for the first time in two decades, the plan provides money for federal research on gun safety. The Senate is expected to approve this plan later in the week. Meantime, Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst will receive $2.2 billion under a new defense spending bill. Money will go toward the production of next generation mid air refueling tankers. The legislation also provides additional funding for Picatinny Arsenal. The state's largest water utility is seeking a rate increase. New Jersey American Water wants to raise rates to cover the cost of infrastructure investments it's made. If that rate hike is approved, the average home water bill would rise by $6.46 a month to just over $62. The rate request is pending before the State Board of Public Utilities. A decision is not expected until next summer at the earliest. Legislation born from the bankruptcy of Wayne-based Toys R Us cleared the state Senate yesterday. That bill aims to protect the rights of workers who lose their jobs due to corporate bankruptcies or closures. The bill mandates severance pay in some cases, as well as additional notice prior to layoffs. The state Treasury Department says New Jersey revenue collections held steady in November. So far this fiscal year, collections are up about 10 percent over the prior year. And Chase Spotlight's John Reitmeyer says it's good news. There's a lot of tailwind right now when it comes to revenue collections, and that was a big concern headed into the fiscal, the, the 2020 fiscal year when it began in July. And so far, you know, through the first several months, uh, they're in great shape. Now, how long it lasts is not exactly clear. Treasury has been warning that corporate business tax collections are expected to decline next year because certain non-recurring payments will be expiring in 2020. Wall Street notching new highs today. The Dow rose 31 points. And those are your top business stories.